A fighter got in a little hot water for uttering the phrase, the guy Jacob Volkman, uh, after a fight last week that, uh, who do you want to fight next? Obama, I think he's an idiot. I don't like his health care. It has blown up into, into this big deal, um, including his school where he coaches at, put him on administrative leave. 364-1100, 364-1100. To, to me, this is another prime example of express an opinion, and if I disagree with you politically, then I have to shut down the conversation. I just It's, it's unbearable what's going on, Dave. It was uh, probably a poor choice of words. Uh, not the best, not the brightest thing to say, but uh, I'm consistent in this. I've never believed in penalizing people for a poor choice of words. I do believe in penalizing people for a poor choice of actions. There's a big difference. Mm -hmm. If you can't tell the difference, now, apparently we can't tell the difference because we do penalize people more seriously now for words yep. than we do for actions, which to me is, is, makes no sense at all. They're just words. It's lunacy. You can disagree if you want. Uh, you know what? I think he's kind of an idiot for making that comment. Okay. Fine. That's, that's think, pretty I, much where it ends. I think he has the, I mean, outside of the Secret Service deal, because they have to take it literally, right. I think he has the right to do that. I think that's why we live here. That's one of the great things. If you want to rip on the president, go ahead and do it. You want to rip on whoever, public figure, you know, I don't know. If, uh, if everyone out there called in earlier who was negative on LeBron, well, you were on local airwaves. I think you kind of embarrassed yourself. So hopefully I can get the audio, go to your job, and say, uh, you know, you shouldn't be doing that on the side. I don't, do, I don't agree with you. I mean, it's ridiculous. They're words. Who cares? That's it. In other words, uh, I mean, take, extending this a little further, we have the phone number when anybody texts in. If somebody texts in something uh, outrageous, should we uh, publish it and perhaps get that person in trouble? I mean, it, it's, it's just words, that's all. Again, it's actions that matter, not words. Doesn't seem like it. No, I know. But that's the age we live in. Going to find somebody to blame for everything. So, you know, let's, let's blame this nondescript fighter. Um, I just don't. I, 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 mean, I, I understand why it's happening, but I can't agree with it. And I will never abide mm -hmm. by it. As much as I disagree with him on his view of Obama, who I'm quite sure is more intelligent than this guy could ever hope to be, um, if he wants to say that, it's fine. Basically, to me, he's exposing himself as kind of an idiot for saying it. Uh, all right, well, fine, let it stay there. Three six four eleven hundred. Joe is with us. Hey, Joe. Hey, what's going on, guys? I uh, love your show. Um, I was actually at UFC 125. Um, I got there for the fight Jacob Volkman was in. I mean, this is how not important he is. He was on the first fight of the card, not on television. I was actually not there to see him. I was there to see the guy he was fighting. Um, there were probably, you know, a few hundred people in the crowd at most. No one gave two, two you know, rats behinds about what he said or even put it. I mean, I was too busy going to the bathroom, and I didn't hear about it until after I left. And I, and, you know you what? Know. And I, honestly, Joe, I don't think he, there was any intent behind it. He's just expressing his opinion. Here, I'll take it another step. I have to read story. We're re referencing a story with this kid, Jacob Volkman, who say, who called the president an idiot and said he wanted to fight him next. You know, <laughs> um, he's getting threats, uh, email and phone calls. Uh, I also had to read a story today that said the UFC is backing him. What, what do you mean? They're, what would they cut him because he expressed an opinion? I mean, th this is where we are now. Yeah, that's that See, these guys. They they want to get attention. They're desperate to do it. You know, because I mean, you know. They and, 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 and that's what he did it for. He wasn't trying to make a political statement, I, I believe. Joe, I think Joe, Joe did, you, just, wa did you watch yeah. the interview? No. He didn't. I, go, go watch the interview, Joe. Okay. Thanks okay. for the call. Because I was there. Okay. I, I know, but Joe, Joe you, you didn't see it. It was like, it was a behind-the-scenes video, you know, in the locker room, whatever, in the hallway. He just, it was an off-the-cuff remark. It was not some grand plan to get himself attention. You know, it wasn't some sinister deal. He just, it's, he basically did what any of us would do at a bar. Uh, he just said something off the cuff, and it went viral. So what? This the school he works at, the you know his wrestling coaching job. Oh, I don't know. You're a bad rep of the school. You know what? The, the school is White Bear High School. Believe me, folks. We could probably go uh, to the top three or four folks at the school, dig a little bit, and I'm sure they do things that are a lot more embarrassing than what little old Jacob Volkman said. Cut it out. 
please. Monty's up next on ESPN Radio 1100. Hey, Monty. Yes. Uh, well, we live in America. It's freedom of choice, freedom of speech. But, of course, there's no freedom from consequence, you know. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes a slip of the lip and... You get yourself in trouble. Is it a slip of the lip? And and do we have the right? Do we have the right when we view a consequence to basically shout? uh, To me, in my opinion, you have to essentially shout down the tiny, tiny, tiny minority that is handing down the consequence. They're being ridiculous. Well, we live in an age where you know everything becomes inflammatory, and it just goes to extremes. You know, to the point where you know somebody hears something like that, and then you know they're. Putting the gun to a politician's head. I mean, this is crazy. So that's, oh, yeah, that's no, the problem. No, is. Wait, no, they're not putting a gun to the politician's head. <laughs> no, that's that's not funny. It's not funny. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, no, I'm I mean, it's no, no offense, it's but it's, it's not funny. That's the pr- not that's that's the problem. It's funny, Dave. I'm, la- I'm, you know, that was just a, oh, a okay, all right, I, I got response. you. But the the point is that you know. Somebody gets up there and makes some inflammatory statement, and, you know, there's a lot of idiots in the world, and they're going to respond to it negatively. And that's, that's just the consequence, yeah, you know. You know what? They're entitled to respond to it negatively if they want. If they want to go out and say, you know what, this Kaufman guy, or whatever his name is, uh, he's a complete moron. Fine. Say that. I'm I'd sorry. Th- there's, no, there's no tie between one person expressing their opinion and putting blame on them for something someone else does. Uh, sorry. I mean, you said it earlier. You can disagree all you want with Sarah Palin. The, the stupid thing with the crosshairs and somehow you know, blaming it on her is ridiculous. I mean, it would be like, it would be like someone coming, uh, I don't know, you know, the, the Mountain West Tournament comes to town. And, you know, my rhetoric and my fandom playing through on the air and saying, Jim or this and Jim or that and Jim or this and Jim or that. And then someone goes out, you know, in the parking lot and hits Jim or for dead with a pipe. Oh, that was Cofield's yeah, fault. You know, it's it, my fault. Well, the whole I'm thing, expressing my opinion. I didn't say if if you're a wacko like Dave said, and you go do something, cut, cut it out. Like you know, we all have to watch what we say because someone might hear it and act on it. Cut it out. God. By the way, just to elaborate on that a little more, um, you know what I'm hearing right now is you know here we go because we do this all the time. We talk about. How people like to romanticize the past. And all I'm hearing is, you know, it didn't like, didn't used to be like this in politics. There wasn't this mean-spirited. Oh, my God. This in politics. Really? Boy, I got to tell you, I come from a pretty politically charged area in Rhode Island. <laughs> there were more dirty tricks. Oh, my. And because back then you could get away with stuff. Yeah. You can't get away with a lot of the fraud that takes place now. The stuff that used to take place is unbelievable. Um, but here we have a lot of people romanticizing the past and saying, boy, I remember uh, when I was younger, the attitude in politics was, oh, there was a lot more respect between the uh, parties. Huh. No, there wasn't. And yeah, no one's ever taken a uh, politician out either. Right? There's crazy people in, uh, in every era and all yeah. times. Paul's up next, 364-1100. What do you think of this, Paul? Well, I think it's crazy. You know, I grew up as an athlete, too doing all kinds of sports, and uh, I'll, I'll tell you, when your adrenaline's going, you say things that you are stupid. Yep. Sometimes you don't even mean it. It's just the situation. But come on, you know, let's, we've got bigger problems than this. The guy made a mistake. What bothers me is when they make a mistake, they'll get up there and apologize. Don't even apologize. You know what? You made a mistake. Move on. Let it go. we got other problems than this. And he has a right to his opinion. I mean, his speech. If that's what he wants to say. It doesn't mean everybody's going to believe him. Yeah. It's just a matter of his adrenaline's going. He's a fighter. Yeah. I mean, well, I'll, I'll all the stuff you, I said. Again, I don't agree with his with his stance on this. His comments were on, and thanks for the call, Paul. His comments were on the health care system. He said the president is an idiot, and he doesn't like the health care system. He's a chiropractor. Of course he doesn't like it. He's... <laughs> Well, I mean, but he is entitled to his own yeah, opinion. Yeah. He thinks there's a lot of red tape. It complicates it. It makes it harder for him to make a living. So what? What? he's not qualified to speak on it? Of course he is. We all are. But, again, it's just... I just I, that's the other thing that drives me nuts. It's like, and that's where I disagree. Luke was on earlier, Luke Thomas. It's like, no one cares about your opinion. You know, we're all entitled to it. I mean, Frank, why, why do Dave and I matter? Why? Because we present it in a certain way and can come on radio. Who, why am I any more important than the, the, the guy sitting here who's going to watch the game in an hour? I'm yeah, actually, uh, uh, people who uh, 
the more well-known a person is, the more valued his opinion is. That's yeah. why politicians will frequently bring in celebrities to stump for them when they're trying to get elected because people pay attention to what other people think. I'm so tired of telling people, you can't say that! They're, it's very isolated where someone really crosses the line. Right. Very isolated. Yeah. Most is much ado about nothing. Which is what this is. It was a dumb comment. It was a poor choice of words. That's it. Jeff's up next, ESPN Radio 1100. Hey, Jeff. Hey, guys. I, I, honestly, I completely agree with you, but I just want to quote John Stewart from the day, you know, from his Monday show. He basically said that when, the, when our words and our rhetoric start to mask the actions of people in society, it's time to take a step back and change them. And so this guy, has, no, he has the right to say that. He probably should have said, I think Obama's an idiot. I don't agree with his politics. Probably should have left the fighting him out of things. But like I said, when you have these tragedies that happen and the words that we say start to mimic that, these that tragedies. Wasn't, you know, but see, that's, 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 that's where I completely disagree with you. You really think that this complete psychotic, had a, it had, based on what we're know, hearing, it had nothing whatsoever to do with politics. Nothing. He's, how about this? He's crazy. What you want to take a look at is how a crazy person was able to go buy a gun. That's another story entirely. That's another story entirely. Maybe there's something that needs, and I don't know what the solution is there, but, but maybe that's something we need to look at. But this wasn't, politically, this wasn't politically motivated. It wasn't because somebody said, he's crazy, right? Crazy people do crazy things. I'm not, I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is when, they say, when, you, when your actions start to mimic what happens, when your words that you say mimic what happens in society, it, this maybe... Not, this is not what happens in society. You're taking one, ice, you know how many hundred, how many people are there in this country? What, 300 million? You got one nutcase who's so far out there, he should not have been in the street, clearly. It didn't, this didn't happen because of anything. Why are people trying to rationalize the actions of an insane individual? This, I do not understand this. He's crazy, all right? Stop trying to attach some meaning to it. Complete, you, how do you, 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 a completely irrational person, and you're trying to make sense out of what he did. You can't do it. It's impossible. All right? You know why? Because he's out of his mind. Judd's up next as Dave goes out of his mind. What's up, Judd? Um, I'm surprised Dana White isn't pursuing the Barack Obama fight card. I think it sparked a lot of interest. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I know. Uh, Dana White gets a, every once in a while gets a little a little political too, but I, I would for the most part I hope he uh, respects freedom of speech. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Believe me, if he could get Obama to fight on the card, he would. He's a promoter at heart. He'll tweet him. He sits there and on fight night he starts tweeting the uh, the president, whoever tweets for the president. I don't know if it's him. It's like oh, you got to pick on the uh, you know the Lesnar Velasquez fight. You having fun? Good line. Maybe Obama will sign. Uh, for a fight in a couple of years. A guy that doesn't want to? Yeah. Uh -oh. I'm getting a lot of uh, on the text line. Uh, he made a threat. I, I, I understand letter of the law, secret service standpoint. Okay, look into it. Yeah. From the school standpoint, to basically suspend him, and he's on his way to losing his job as a wrestling coach to go, you know, you embarrassed us. Cut it out. Oh, I have no problem Cut with the Secret out. Service investigating it. It was they the same. To, they, you know what? They have to take everything seriously. That's fine. That's fine. But, it, right. you know, it's, it's the same as, as much of a schmuck as I think Bob Ryan is in the media. Um, when Bob Ryan a couple of years ago said, you know, I'd like to smack Jumana Kid. Oh, he wants to get violent on a woman. Yeah, he was going to, because Bob Ryan is going to go up and smack Jumana Kid. You, you see what I mean? It's, it's, it's the smallest, often loudest minority. It's a small group. That start screaming and yelling, and they get a reaction. And the re the masses should look at them and go, "No, shut up, shut up." 